G'day viewers, here we've got Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Well, new game, got you in a sale. Well, it's not really a new game. But anyway, let's play. Let's see what this thing's like. So this is a first look. Welcome to the game, Train Mechanic 2017, with miscellaneous rock music. You are a train mechanic, and your task will be to repair rail vehicles in three different workshops. Under your care will be both archaic and simple steam engines, as well as very modern electric locomotives. Each locomotive will be assigned a garage to repair its respective type. Alright, so what do we do? Hmm. Door. Mouse is disgusting. Okay, we can repair electrical things. Mechanic things look like your forwards, backwards, sideways, rightwards, you know, these are the normal sorts of keys. Hydraulics workbench. Big electric motor under the hydraulics workbench. Surely that should be over there, but that's okay. And we've got nothing. Can't touch these. And we've got a pit. Okay, I suppose I should have seen that coming. Out of there, what have we got over here? Nothing much. Can't use this bench. Well, it makes noises. Hmm. Huh. Anything up here? There's a crane. That might come in handy for something. What do these things do? Job order? We haven't got one. Okay. Tutorial for the parts warehouse. Well, I haven't got any. Okay, it's yeah, online stores you can buy. Yeah, I can't do anything. I can improve the workshop. I don't have enough cash to do anything. Okay. So now back on that job order screen, there was a bit of a hint. Go to the office and accept a work. This is written by someone using English as a second language. Ah, tutorial, acceptance of work orders. Welcome to the work order acceptance system. Here you'll be able to accept work orders and missions assigned to a given workshop. In this window, you can switch between work orders and skip a given task and possibly finish it later. Could they have just said this is where you get your work? Wow, what a paragraph. Let's have a look at a work order then. Job number one. Welcome to the game train mechanic 2017. Oh, your task of repairing a locomotive in which these steel and rubber springs in the front truck have been damaged. Alright, so we can make some cash. Hello, unbranded BNSF locomotive. Hmm, okay. So it appears that the cause of the locomotive's malfunction is a damaged carriage. Really? Truck, maybe? Probably they are steel and rubber springs. Locate the exact cause of the defect and replace with a new part. We can earn $125. We're going to be rich. All right. Escape to close. I've already noticed some things do escape and some things do an X. Now, this truck, you think? What do we actually do? We've got a few things we can do up there. We can get... Let's just have a look in order, I guess. All right, so that's just our work order. Condition. Yeah, this mode you can strip down locomotives, taking part in available components. Often to be able to get to a part, you need to remove other parts, even those operating property properly. Please remember about this. Oh, I'm guessing they get a lot of support complaints. Alright, so I guess we're supposed to see what they're like. It says not checked. Uh, okay. I don't want to just take it apart. What about condition. It sounds like an asset -y thing. But I've noticed some shit's rusty. Uh, no, I don't want to take the part. I want the condition. Let me see. That doesn't work. Three. Testing mode. Two. I don't want to take it apart. Escape. Ah. Okay. Condition. Ooh. No, I don't want to take it apart. Condition. Not checked. How do I do this? 
don't want to take it apart. What the? I want to check things. I don't want to just pull them apart. Oh, come on, this is crap. Testing mode. Maybe I just have to take them off. Yeah, I do. Why can't I check their condition? Well, if I look in my parts warehouse now. Ah. Okay, so they were fine. I didn't need to take them off, clearly. But I couldn't test that. This game is about as unintuitive as smacking yourself in the face with a hammer. I'm guessing by the fact that these things are a little bit rusty that these ones are the shitty ones. Alright. Okay, we've got two shit ones and two good ones. So let's sell the shit ones. Or should we try and repair them? Let's try that. Escape got me away from there. Uh, mechanical workbench. Alright, let's try and repair stuff. Specific sub-assemblies can be repaired, blah, 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 TLDR. Okay. I am 100% chance of repairing it. How much do they cost to buy? Let's have a look. Uh, tablet. Mechanical parts. They cost 6000 to buy. Right. So if I go into here again and 4000 to fix it. Okay, so we can save some money. Yeah, such so let's repair them. Is it worth repairing them? I don't know. I can just put them back. They're pretty good. Alright, let's go over to the train and just put shit back on. Assembly mode, installation mode. I put that on. That one. Bulky, bulky. That one. Now it looks like I'm right. Rusty things are shit. And that one. So I spent all this labour for nothing because I didn't even take these off. But for some reason I couldn't check what they were like. Because the C key didn't do anything. Despite it being in the menu. So... Job order M. Aha! I have done both things. Does that mean I can finish? I can finish. It looks like I made some money and I made a bonus. Okay. Bye bye, unbranded BNSF. Okay. I made some cash. So, what can I do now? Can I buy shit? Improve the workshop. Of course, everything's more expensive than what I've got. Of course. Alright, let's go and get another job order. Job order number two. This driver complains about faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This work order is slightly more difficult. Remember, each part type is repaired on a different workbench. We've reached TLDR. Hello, unbranded blue locomotive. Okay, so it's the faulty braking components in the front truck. And I can make $250 doing this. You know, I'm tipping for $250, I'd just say, get out of here. Go find someone who wants to do it for that money. But there you go. 
We don't really get that choice, do we? Alright, how do we get out? Here we go. Now, which is the front? Um, look, it's called a motor truck, not a carriage this time. That's better. So, you could assume that was the front because the cab's up there, but normally on a train, there will be an A and a B painted about, I don't know, about there. Which tells you which one's the front. So we're going to go and assume the front one's just the cab. So, motor truck. All right, we want to check the condition of these things. So, brake caliper. I don't want to be in installation mode. Can I arrow? No. One, two, three. I can do these things. Okay, so you have to be in testing mode to do stuff, not C. Alright, so that's fine. Brake hoses. No problemo. Ah, you're a bit stuffed. You're a lot stuffed. How about that? You're a bit stuffed. How about this side? You're a bit stuffed. Okay, we're learning here. You're alright. You're alright. You're alright. You're alright. I'm assuming green means good. Yeah. How about that? Alright, so they're all okay. So let's come over here. And disassembly mode in this hideously unintuitive thing. So how do I get that out? Can't get that out. How about that? Oh, I can get that out. Okay, I'm gonna get this out. Yeah, I assume the uh, fluorescing means that it wants me to take that off first. Okay. Now we can get these out. Bolty, bolty. Or unbolty, unbolty. What about you? Ah, bolt. Okay. It kind of looks like you double click stuff to take it out, but not always. So, get away from this truck thing. So, we can sell them or we can try and repair them. Let's go over to the bench. Let's try the mechanical bench first. So there's a 31% chance of repair. I think that's a bit crap. 100% chance on this one. Yeah, let's do that. Should have checked the price first, but you know. Okay. So we're not going to try and repair this brake caliper because that's just going to be silly. So let's go over to this bench because 31%, you know. Granted, I buy lotto tickets that are better than that. 31% uh, chance of repair. I don't think we'll do that either. So let's go here, let's sell the crappy caliper. And let's sell the crappy piston. And now we need to buy stuff. So tablets, mechanical parts. We want to buy a caliper and we want to buy a piston. This music sounds kind of familiar to me. I hope it doesn't give me a copyright strike when I upload this. Okay, let's get out of the parts warehouse and let's go back to the train, which is now in pieces. Okay, motor truck again. So we probably need to put. I want to go to installation mode, I guess. So it's suggesting we do that first. So we'll bung that one in, bolty bolty. Now I think it's. Yeah, I suppose it's a little bit intuitive. It's suggesting what I should put in next. That wouldn't be a bolt there. There'd be a pin with a cotter on it, because that rotates. It's doing diagonal like you really would. The brake calipery thingy. Bolty bolty. And the hydraulic hoses that we did not have to do anything to. Okay, so 
so if we go to what job order i guess it's all done finish the order we've got a bonus as well okay you can improve the workshop using the tablet let's have a look Sounds like there's a rampant monkey loose in here somewhere. We can buy a screw gun. We can increase the possibility of making stuff work. All right, let's leave that alone for the moment. So it's pretty obvious game strategy stuff. You do things, it makes things better. Uh, so in theory, you can drive trains in this thing. Oh, maybe that's how. Okay, so the garage experience is kind of fun. Some minor problem solving. I assume it gets harder. Okay, what are we doing out here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want to move things. Ah. That's pretty horny. What's this thing? Ah. I guess that thing's right click your mouse. So there's a crane on that. And a bright yellow disease or looks kind of like an, maybe an SD70? Maybe? Maybe? Anyway, we can, yeah, we can increase engine power. And this, I don't know what these do. Oh, okay. Sparks from the wheels. Need the lights. Flash, 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 flash. Or maybe not. Mm. How do I get in a cab? C for cab. Is that the map? And why are my function keys in Chinese or something? Can I press things? No, can't press things. Can't click things. Oh, I can drag things. Yeah, maybe I want to go forwards. Back dynamic brakes. Yeah, they've done the brakes. Are these things? Any of these do anything? No. No. I can't even go over there. Okay. Hmm. Every other game's space for horn. Hmm. Diesel engine depots. That's where we're working over there somewhere? Maybe that? Looks like a house. You have any windows? No. Too much to ask. We're gonna go left. We're going pretty fast. Oh, we didn't go left. What's going on there? Ah, okay. Now we're just going for a cruise. Well, I have to say the train driving experience for this is a bit. Hmm. Box? A bit gamey for me. So I think I'd probably only drive the trains to uh, do whatever tasks that need doing, I guess, because it's a little bit doge. I don't know why the scenery is so fuzzy. Is that a signal? I guess it's a signal. What does that mean? Go? I guess. Hmm. Where am I going? I'm going over here now. To Westport. Eh. Yeah, this is pretty simple game. Train driving. I think we might leave that there. Let's go back to the diesel engine depot. We can have our final chat. So. Hmm. 
What do I think? What do I think? The mechanics side of it. Yeah. We could probably get into it a little bit. It's not really very intuitive. It is a little bit. It helps you out a bit if you're watching what the graphics are doing. Um, it kind of makes sense. It's kind of fun. I think I could get into it. Start playing around some more. The train driving experience. I like a simulator more than a game when it comes to trains. And this is very much a game. So... I probably won't enjoy the train driving experience and I'll probably only do it when a task absolutely mandatorily requires me to do it because it's just not my kind of thing but you know I'm sure others will like it so is it worth the massive seven dollars I paid for it in the steam sale yeah I'd say so it's probably enough fun for that would I pay full price for it don't know don't think so Will I buy the new version that's coming out in 2022? Don't know. We'll see what it looks like. It's supposed to be a new one coming out, according to Steam. So, I think we'll leave it there. It's very non-committal, isn't it? Normally, I know if a game's really good or if a game's just crap. And this one, I'm thinking, it's okay. I think I could play it. I think I could. We'll see. If you see it turn up on streams, you'll know, won't you? Anyway, if you like this video subscribe click the little tinkly thingy and get notifications and give it a thumbs up and if you hated the video well you could always subscribe anyway and see if you like something else that turns up so see you next time folks happy new year since it's that kind of year and i'll see you around bye now i welcome any and all feedback feel free to comment on the video constructive criticism is welcome especially if i've got something wrong I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow or doesn't as the case may be.